welcome to the 2021 NASA Scientists for a Day essay contest. This year's contest is brought to you by NASA's Radioisotope Power System Program, the team that provides spacecraft with the power to visit some of the harshest, darkest, coldest locations in our solar system. My name is Bethany, and I'm the RPS Launch Approval Manager at NASA Glenn's Research Center in Cleveland, Ohio. My job is to make sure robotic spacecraft that carry radioisotope power systems to extreme places in the solar system are ready to launch safely. The topics of this year's essay contest are three mysterious moons that orbit the planet Uranus, Ariel, Oberon, and Titania. NASA's Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft that has flown by the moons of Uranus, providing us with the only close-up images we have of them. These images were taken nearly 35 years ago. Uranus and its moons are approximately 20 times farther from the sun than Earth, so by the time sunlight gets all the way out there, it provides only a small fraction of the solar energy that we have here on Earth. It's very challenging to send a spacecraft that far from the sun. It is even more challenging to make sure it has all the electricity it needs for its mission. The radioisotope power system that provides Voyager 2 with the energy and heat needed to operate the computers, scientific instruments, and communication system is called a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or an RTG. An RTG is essentially a nuclear battery that provides the spacecraft with a steady flow of electricity. It works well regardless of its distance from the sun, making it an ideal source of power to spacecraft that explore extreme environmental conditions in the solar system and beyond. These power systems have no moving parts, last for many decades, and are extremely reliable. Because the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by Uranus so quickly, we only got to see one side of each of Uranus's moons. Scientists are very curious to know what's on the other side. We know that Ariel, Oberon, and Titania have similar compositions, they are made of roughly half ice and half rock. In addition, Ariel has the brightest surface of all the moons of Uranus. It also has fewer craters and thus appears to be the youngest. Scientists think that this moon may have volcanic flows on its surface. Oberon is heavily cratered and has a large mountain that rises almost four miles above its surface. Titania has a prominent system of fault valleys, some of which are nearly 1,000 miles long. Images revealed signs that Titania was once geologically active. Your assignment is to learn more about these mysterious moons and decide which one you would explore first in a potential future robotic mission to the Uranus system. Write a short essay on why the moon you chose is the most scientifically interesting to you. Based on what scientists already know about one side of the moon you choose, what do you think might be found on the other side? Enjoy exploring, learning, and discovering. Have fun and good luck.